So tell me how this Monaco experience has been so far. There's nothing wrong with Monaco. Well, I love being here. It's fantastic. Uh, we came on Monday and we went up to Ez. We went to the Fragonard perfume factory. We walked around a medieval village, which was so interesting for my children to see, because of course we don't have that in the States. We don't have that in America. And they're, but they're learning about it in school. So they were telling me, mom, you know why they built them like this, right? I said, well, why guys? Because it keeps, in, it didn't allow invaders and there were always invaders coming in. And so they were telling me all this wonderful history. And then yesterday we went to Cannes, to the little island off of Cannes, San Anara, where they saw monks. They said, really, the monks live in these places? I'm like, really they do? And we saw the wine and the lavender. And then today we're here and my children are swimming in the bay. And it's, it's just magical. This is magical. So happy to hear it. So of course, we're also here to talk about television, to yes. talk about your show, Code Black. Why did you want to do that show in the first place? Or did you? Were you sold on it right from the start? You know, I've been wanting to do television for a while, and I had done a comedy previously called Trophy Wife. And uh, a one hour is a very different phenomenon. And when I saw this show, I thought I really loved the documentary. The documentary is gritty, down and dirty medicine, realistic. I thought I could play something in that, and I was going to play a different character, and then they offered me the Leanne Rorsch that I'm playing now, and that uh, was fantastic because she's a great leader of the interns and um, strong woman, commanding, reckless, impatient, and I, I thought that's the kind of woman I want to be on TV. And the show is picked up for a second season, yes. so congratulations. Thank you. How do you feel now going into the shoot of this second season? A bit more confident, more relaxed? Uh, I'm excited to see what we're going to do. There were so many beautiful moments, and e each episode would have this one moment that was just, I uh, word it like about the resilience of the human experience, mm -hmm. the resilience of the human soul. Mm -hmm. And there was one that stands out in my mind, which was the Lion King episode. All of a sudden, in an emergency room, people can start singing. And of course, things like that really do happen. You think, oh, come on, that's just television. Like, actually, no. All of a sudden, you know, there's real stories about things like this really happening. The human being is resilient in the face of life and death. And I think a, a magical beauty is exposed in those moments. And that's, for me, what the show's about. You've done so many great things in your career. If you had to pick another moment that wasn't Code Black, perhaps a film, a TV show, a guest spot, theater, one moment that really sticks out in your mind is something you say, I love that one, what would it be? Well, of course it was the Oscar. There's two. There's um, Angels in America. Being a part of Angels in America in New York City was phenomenal for me coming up as an actress. And um, winning the Oscar with Ed Harris sitting right there, I felt like I had just been able to deliver a baby that he had, you know, created. So that was fantastic. Do you think there's a secret to having a career that lasts in Hollywood? I mean, there's so many young actors here, and they all look at some of the older actors, you know, and they say, gosh, it would be so amazing to have that kind of career. Is there a secret to lasting? I do not know if there's a secret to lasting. I was going to say, you just keep on crawling. Um, uh, here's what I think, is that uh, it's about the work, and the work is very often about the, the writing, and, uh, I, and, and it's also about chance. So it would be vain to say it's the, the choices. I think there's a, an element of luck to it, but um, for me, it's just been about wanting to follow great writers, great directors, work with great actors, and just keep work. I consider myself a bit of a workhorse. I don't consider myself a star or a celebrity. I consider I'm a working, working actor, and just keep working. 20 years ago, actors were still desperate to get out of TV. Now it seems like it's really going the other yeah. way. Do you think that that stigma on television is gone? Well, first of all, television isn't in any way close to what it was 20 years ago. Right? There's nothing similar about television today than it was 20 years ago. Because today you have Hulu, uh, Amazon, Netflix, all cable. You didn't have any of that. I, think, I don't think you had cable. Do we have cable 20 years ago? Just starting, I think. Just starting, right? Yeah. 
you had network. So the only similarity is network in, in, in some ways. But now the competition for network is completely different. Now people are doing streaming. You can see the beginning. You don't have to tune in every week. You can just stream the whole thing and get your fix right away. Why do I, and, and there's so many more opportunities. So I think that that's why people are flocking to do it. It's exciting television. And as the women in my age range are finding, it's a wonderful opportunity to play women who are more reflective of what we really see in society, what we really see around us. Strong, smart, capable, rich, complicated women. And that's what we want to play. Anything less is boring. So this is fantastic. And just to wrap up, what's your favorite show to watch at the moment? I'm loving watching Happy Valley right now. I just think it's a phenomenal show, phenomenal performances. My daughter, who's 17, is all about Game of Thrones. And, and I, I know, because I've seen one or two with her, that if I just really got into it, I would just be there for the whole arc of it as well. But there was just something about, I think, the grittiness and the complicatedness of the character in Happy Valley that I love. I love the actress, and so I'm watching that. Okay. Thank you very yeah, much. Thank you.